All week, we have been answering your questions and catching up on the letters you sent us. Ito ang isa pang tanong na galing sa inyo. Hi, sir. My husband is a retired OFW. Akala niya na sa ibang bansa pa siya na napakalinis at organized. Lahat kinocompare niya sa house namin. Siya yung matalak dahil siguro walang kausap sa ibang bansa. So, dito sa bahay, binubuhos ang pagtatalak niya. Sawa na ako, Kuya Kaloy. May peace sa bahay kung hindi na kami mag-uusap. Ay, ang sarap. Buti na lang may dalawa apo kami na nagpapasaya sa amin. Nagsisimba naman siya every Sunday. Pero bakit ganon? Up to now, hindi kami nag-uusap. Puro lang siya pasaring at nagmumura. Please help. Kapatid, nakakalungkot ang nangyari sa inyong mag-asawa. Pero alam mo, hindi lang ikaw ang dumadanas ng ganito. Maraming mga asawa ng retired OFW ang dumadaan din sa ganitong problema sa mag-asawa. At ito ang ugat ng problema. Hindi dapat naghihiwalay ang mag-asawa. Hindi disenyo ng Diyos na ang lalaki at babae ay magkahiwalay na matagal dahil lang sa trabaho. In the Gospel according to Matthew, this is what the Lord Jesus himself said about marriage. Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. A man and a woman is considered by God as one flesh. The two have been joined by God when they are married. And in this passage, there is a command that said, What God has joined together, let no man separate. The problem with OFW families is that what God has joined together, the husband and the wife have decided to physically separate when one of them went abroad to work. That is not the design of God for married couples. That is not the will of God for husband and wife. This is your present situation. You are reaping the fruit of your long separation from each other. You never grew old together as husband and wife. You are strangers in your own home. If your marriage is to survive, the both of you must acknowledge that there is a problem and that you need help. You need help from a professional counselor who can help process your relationship issues. You may need help from a spiritual advisor, perhaps a priest or a pastor, who can help you to see that by separating from each other for the sake of work, you have violated God's design for marriage. And you need to repent and ask for God's grace to help you become reunited as husband and wife. And as you seek God's help in reuniting you and your husband so, so that you may become once again one flesh, according to God's will, always remember, Faith matters too.